So what we're trying to do here, a little bit of spring cleanup, a little bit of spring maintenance. So what we're trying to do is come onto these islands. Um, you can kind of see that the way that they're shaped, these are big rectangles and triangles. Um, so basically we're trying to walk along these pontoon connection points where it's very stable. Um, and we're trying to thin out some of this dead growth so that the young shoots can kind of start coming up. And you sort of already see this happening where all this dead brown growth and there's new green shoots coming up. We're trying to give space for these things to get all this sunlight. This would normally be something that'd be accomplished by natural herbivores and fires and different kind of floods and things like that that would carry this material away in a lot of situations. Uh, but we don't want all of it gone because these plants die with the expectation that their leaf litter, or all their detritus, becomes nutrients for them in some other way later on. So we don't want to necessarily take all of it off, but we do want to make sure that we're getting plenty of sunlight to our natives because if the natives don't come up quickly, invasives will start to come up. They'll kill a whole bunch of natives, then there's this big bear spot, and then we have this kind of cycle that continues. So by keeping on top of these probably once a month, a little more earlier in the year, um, we can really make sure that the natives have all the space they need to thrive. And then once they start doing that, we don't have to worry about weeding so much. So just something that we've learned over the years. Um, got a couple of different species like this. Um, Rush here is cylindrical, smooth. It kind of comes up a little differently. You can see the tops are brown, but the bottoms are pretty green. So with these, you just give them a little haircut, get a little of the bread up. Not too crazy. Um, some of these more flat bladed leaves are the Carexes. Um, these are like what are a lot of this. They take up a lot of space in sunlight. So that's the kind of stuff you really want to trim down. You can see those green shoots trying to come up. Um, this stuff is all former like uh, blue vervain and late bone set and things like this. This can all go. But we still do want to leave like a little bit of it up because it's interesting visually, but also it provides places for birds to perch, you know, the kind of things, insects are going to be moving around and all this uh, detritus. So, um, yeah, we want to clear a lot of it, but we want to leave a good bit of it too. Um, and it's just, don't break your back, don't do too much work, nice and easy, nice and slow, enjoy the day, um, and help us mow through some of this stuff. So, yeah. I describe what you just did. We cleared a bunch of hibiscus from this area that was taking over, hopefully opening up a little more space for other plants to get established.